Welcome back everybody to From Krista TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, make I first of all take my time to uh, respond to Joe Igbokui's comments on Nigeria, saying that uh, those people who will bring good governance in Nigeria were not yet born. I mean, what uh, a stupid comment. These people, they are very, very, are very, very manipulative. They know how to manipulate Nigerian people's brain, saying that somebody that is supposed to rescue Nigeria, somebody that will bring peace in Nigeria, somebody that will bring progress in Nigeria, somebody that will truly lead Nigeria, that the person is not yet born. What is sarcastic statement? These people that they live with Wayo, people that will rule, that can control, that can bring peace, that can bring harmony, bring stability, bring good governance to that country. They are there in Nigeria. They are there. Stop deceiving yourself that they are not yet born. They are there in Nigeria. Living right there in Nigeria. They are your next neighbor right there. That they deceive Nigerian people with some kind of stupid, stupid languages. Like, oh, the people were supposed to rescue Nigeria, they are not yet born. Like, okay, and we are going to continue to rule forever and ever because the people that are supposed to rescue Nigeria, they are not yet born. So we'll continue to rule until that person come to life. We'll continue to dominate Nigeria. We continue to rule. We continue to take over. Every, I mean, Joe Ibukwe should go and uh, relax his garden boot or somewhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, the issue that brought me here, hmm? na issue when consigned that same governor when they, they call Bello Matawele and the sitting governor of Zamfara State when accused Bello Matawele. Say that Bello Matawele now they sponsor the kidnappers in Zamfara states. That one name na Lawan Dauda. Na him be Bello Matawele successor. Na him succeed Bello Matawele. Na that man they tell the story to everybody. From the east to the south to the north and the west, say now Bello Matawili, the former governor of Zamfara State, now him, the sponsor, the terrorists, when they terrorize everywhere in Nigeria with his group. And ladies and gentlemen, not be only this Zamfara State governor, what they call Dauda Lawan, the exposed Matawili. Then plenty. Another man don't come from the north again. All from APC. The Tatunubu say, man, this man, we got this guy. This is the guy that is sponsoring the bandit all over. The former governor of um, Zamfara State called Bello Matawele. And also, this man will be Bello Matawele. He's working for Bola Ahmed Tunubu as a minister. Hmm? So when I see the kind of people when the uh, the leaders that be then they select or then they appoint to lead the nation. No wonder when peace not in Nigeria. Terrorist them now then they rule Nigeria. So somebody, when they sponsor a terrorist, when they give them gun, they give them medicals, they give them cars, they give them bullets, they give them food, they give them houses, they, 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 somebody when they fend for them. That means the person, not the leader, not be their leader. Matawele is the leader of the bandits. He's the one that is making money with his cronies. All right? Uh, not be funky did in Yana. Now his successor, the exposed Matawele. 
Say make him swear the Quran. If not be him, be the person when the sponsor defend for the terrorist organization in Zafara State and Nigeria at large. Now we go go into waiting um, Bello Matawili can tell uh, the Nigerian people has in his uh, explanation. Okay, but the tell us say courts don't already okay the suit to compel FG to probe the ex governor Wembe Matawele. So, but make we go into uh, how the man explained say in hand no, in, in hand day somehow. According to his claim, I saw that yesterday and also today when Matawele they come to tell Nigerian people say. Uh, say yes, say truly, say in try to um, um, find an approach, you know, how he can be able to put an end to this banditry mm, when they happen in Zafara State and other part of the northern part of Nigeria. Uh, say in consult uh, the Christians' organization, in consult uh, the uh, chiefs, uh, the, the kings, uh, the many, many people come together with him and they decided that uh, they will be compensating the bandits okay in order to uh, i mean they will be paying ransom to the bandits all right and uh, so that is who, uh, what matawili said defending himself like okay not be only me the whole community come together to agree that i mean um, yeah compensating and the patronizing the bandit people in order for the bandit people to feel pity for his own um, constituency or his own state. Alright, so say not be only him. That's what Matawele talk. So but now Matawele is under a lot already that yo, this is a, a very huge blow to my administration because the man is still right now as we speak, the man is uh, a minister. So, what do we know? Be say you don't support bandit, you don't support terrorism. You fight against terrorism, ladies and gentlemen. Nande Kano was fighting against terrorism. That is why Nande Kano was locked up. Let's not forget about that. Because when we are talking about terrorism and the bandits, there is no way you can separate. Then from Nande Kamo being a man that tries to fight against these bandit people and the government say no, that Nande Kamo is a terrorist. You see the opposite? This is a terrorist itself. Matawili, when a sitting governor, when be his um, successor, they tell everybody, say, Matawili is on record. Whether on a paper record, whether on a video record, whether on an audio record, Matawili is on record as is a, the kingpin of the bandit people. So Nandekano is suffering what other people are supposed to suffer. I mean, people that are perpetuating the crime itself, like Matawili. The governor of Bono State, all those people supposed to be in prison. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will see what in the details about Matawili and the federal government. The Federal High Court of Nigeria in Abuja did not approve a lawsuit when they seek to compare the federal government to investigate allegations when they link the Minister of State. For defense, Allah Haji Bello Matawili to banditry in Zamfara State. The suit was brought by the human rights activist Abu Bakr Dahiru when aimed to probe Matawili's alleged involvement in the operation of bandit during his tenure as governor, even up to date, ladies and gentlemen. The man is still operating with them because that is how they, they feed, that is how they make money, illicit money. 
Okay, so the suit mark FHC ABJ CS blah 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 list President Bola Amiri Tunubu, the Attorney General of the Federation and the Inspector General of Police IGP as the least second and third defendant respectively. Dahiru represented by his lawyer Ojonimi Opia is asking the court to declare the president of Nigeria Bola Amiri Tunubu must direct the IGP to investigate the activities of bandit and kidnappers in Zamfara State with a specific focus on allegations surrounding Matawili's role in the crisis. The plaintiff claimed that during Matawili's time as governor 2019 to 2023, armed banditry escalated to unprecedented levels, leaving thousands of citizens in Zamfara State displaced or widows due to the violence. Dairo pointed to interviews and articles accusing Matawili of supporting banditry, including claims that he provided vehicles to bandit sabotage law enforcement efforts and granted amnesty to terrorists. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> not be here with a make all this up. When I hear witness say a governor of a state in your own country they do with a terrorist people. Hmm? Not be only Matawele, ladies and gentlemen. Long time, long time, even during the time of Buhari, they bandit themselves many, many occasions. Don't come out, point hand on many, many, many governors. Not only governors, senators, ministers. I mean, Nigerian senators, Nigerian governors, and Nigerian ministers. Seeing that them, they buy them weapon. Now then they sponsor them. Now then the, now the governors they care for their well-being. Now then they pay them salary. Now them then they work for. This is not the first time. And all those governors mentioned and the senators, none of them was held accountable up to today. And if any is held accountable, what is the ending results? Matawele is in huge trouble. But those governors, they might escape. Hmm? I mean, those former governors, when the bandit don't tell us, say, now them, they behind them. We know all of them. Some are from Borno State, some are from Kaduna State, some are from Sokoto State. So, if those ones go scot free, maybe Matawele. Cannot go scot free. Nobody know. Maybe Bola Ameri Tunubu and his government, because still today, uh, Matawili is still working for Bola Ameri Tunubu, he's a minister. Uh, maybe they will still do the same thing when they do with other uh, governors. That is sweeping the case under the rock immediately. So they, they, they tell us now, say, then don't write Bola Ameri to make Bola Ameri Tunubu take cash and make him invite IGP, make IGP start the case, make them start their investigation. At the end of the day, we're going to still see how this investigation will they unfold, they go. And we're going to watch them, we're going to monitor them, we're going to, you know, we're going to report on this matter to see the end of this particular case. Hmm? Uh, we're going to bring the, the latest, latest news concerning this case to all of our viewers. So not be only uh, sponsoring of terrorism when they accuse uh, Matawili for, but that one a number, the, the bigger one. The other one about uh, fraud, because the Dauda won't be the present governor of uh, Zamfara State, openly come out the claim, say, uh, the same Matawili don't wipe the whole money when they fall uh, the state, their state offer. He said not even 4 million naira is left 
in the state interstate offer. Guys, okay. when they take the bye bye for the uh, the bandit paper. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, now here we will stop the matter. Will the matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, particular segment. If you get anything wrong, come on, tell us. Please don't waste time. Make on a con. I was one off.